So today's daily coding question is this, and we've actually seen something relatively similar in a previous video. I think it's about two videos um, previous. <clears throat> but basically what we have here is we've got a tuple and our tuple is one, two, and three. And then we try to assign the um, element number one of the tuple. <clears throat> Remember that tuples, indices, arrays in most languages are indexed at zero. So that's the first index, that's the second index, and that's the third index. So my tuple underscore one is referring to this number here, which is the first index. So it's got the value of two. And we're going to attempt to change, or at least this code is attempting to change this value from a two into the number four over here. That's what it's attempting to do. And then we're going to try and print out my tuple. Now, the question is, is what is the actual answer? So the first one is, are we left with our original tuple, which is just one, two, and three, the original state as it was given. The second one is, are we left with one, four, and three, because we've replaced our number two with a four. And the third one is, are we left with a one, two, and four? I'm not sure how that one would ever come about. And our fifth one is, do we get a type error? And I think, like this one possibly is the one that might throw some people but maybe you want to pause the video for like 10 seconds or something think of the answer and then go through and see what the answer actually is so pause now and then unpause i guess that's the, the way of doing it and let's just go through this then in that case so we're going to create our little block of code and this is to do with mutable and immutable types and we're talking about a tuple and if we remember that we had a list here to start with and my list is equal to one and this might be the hint really so one two and three that's our list and if we wanted to assign the reassign this variable in uh, the value of number two in our list we would do my underscore list oops not over there on our new line we do my underscore list and then we would say that our first element is equal to four and then we could print out my underscore list like this and it would behave in the way that we expected then we get this one four three over here but notice we're in square brackets so this one four three looks like we're going to get this answer over here which is answer b which is one four three but in fact what happens is with a tuple the, it's an immutable type, so with a tuple, we can create our little code block over here, and actually I'm going to call it immutable, and the immutable type basically... Um, immutable objects cannot be modified or created, so after, after they've been created. So basically here we can do my underscore tuple, like this and then we are going to use exactly the same three values but we are this time going to put them into a tuple and we are now going to do my underscore tuple and we are going to try to amend the element index number one and we're going to change it to a value of four so we're hoping to change this number two into a four and then we're going to try to print out and notice that i do say try we're going to try to print out the word uh, my tuple and notice what happens which is we get thrown a type error which is the answer number d and we could have actually done a try block here so we could have done try a try accept block and let's put our tuple into the try accept block over here like this and we'll get we'll print out our exception so that the code should finish um, neatly let's have a look at that one Oh, actually, it's not this that goes needs to go in here. It'll be this bit here that actually needs to go in here before the print. So when we do it, we get an exception found. Tuple object does not support item assignment. So if you found this useful, hit the thumbs up button, the like button, and the subscribe button, and the follow button, and all the other buttons. And even if you didn't find this useful, still hit the like button, subscribe, and follow button. And that's it. That was our daily coding question on tuples in Python.